Extreme Outer Limits, baby. It's just gotta be extreme. Woo! <laughs> I worked for that one. Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. Well, it's the day after we uh, got Bob's bull out of the gnarly canyon that he took him in. It was quite a day yesterday. It definitely put us to the test. Um, it was a gnarly canyon and getting down in it was one thing, but getting back out with the horses after a little bit of rain was something else. But nonetheless, we did it. The bull's in camp and we're now uh, moving on to my hunt. But before we do that, I'd like to take a look back at last year's bull. Oh, guys. It couldn't be any more first light than this. We've actually been hungered in the brush over here. We rode up in the dark for a couple hours. Got to our Brian. Knew there should be some elk. Lo and behold, there's about 100 head. I'm going to start at this side and just go through every one of them real quick. Get on that bull. Chris, are you feeling okay about your setup? Yeah, I is that, think so. That's, that's gonna work? Yeah. All right, we're gonna need to make this happen. It is definitely getting daylight. Nick, are you good? Yeah. You got plenty of light? All right, all right, Chris, camera light's good. It's that bull, okay, so I mean, it's the one where we, we decided it's right over that left edge of the pines. Done, got him. Okay, roll off the gun, he's done. He, I mean, she hit him perfect. He's gonna fall down right there. We'll roll the bolt and hit him again, Chris. Yep, same spot, Chris. He's done, but done. Nice shot, nice shot. Okay, here comes the massive herd. Chris, get off the gun. It's just, it's broke, you know. Five point. Red, red buffers. Yeah, it's not a rather hunt for something better. I mean, it's just a six. It's just a six, and it's got broken points and. Chris, that was a great shot, buddy. That bull sucked that first one up and took that second one like a trooper, but you took him down. Yeah, I'm still shaking. <laughs> we're kind of being a little quiet, guys, because we thought we were going to pull a double, and you got the best bull because I'm like going with the spot and scope like this, you know, trying to go bull, 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 and I'm looking, 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 and I'm like, all right, let's shoot this one. And then I was originally thinking we were going to hammer a double. I did too. But I just, I, something similar to yours. If there'd have been another one in that class, I'd have, I'd have got in there. I think that's going to be a really nice bull. I, he was he was good. Good shooting, buddy. Thank you. Good shooting. <laughs> what a morning. Man, oh man, that's guys. That's a way to rock the morning, that's for sure. 
you just never know what you're gonna get out here at Star Valley. There's so much game if you're in the right spot at the right time. It might happen before you're even ready for it. <laughs> Look at this big boy. Being a little trusting well, with the horses, Brian. You think that's okay? <laughs> I'll run after him. <laughs> you might have to help me with this guy. Get him out of the, out nice of the brush. Nice work, nice work. Good shooting, buddy. Yeah, I, I see that. Well, I'll tell you what. This has been quite an exciting morning. There was hundreds of elk on this hillside. They were just littering the hillside. That is a darn nice bull. Yeah, I, he's heavy and he's wide. Well, thanks, Brian, for having me out here. My very first bull hunt out here with Star Valley here in Wyoming. Couldn't ask for a nicer nicer hunt and a greater bull. This is definitely my, my biggest Wyoming bull. Yeah. So. And you're tagged out. I'm tagged out. How did I do that? What's up with that? I know. You I just, guess it was just my 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 turn, huh? <laughs> yeah. Apparently it was your turn to knock him oh down my. and drag him out. <laughs> there he is. Star Valley, Wyoming Bull. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force 5 to 25 by 56 Enhanced ATAC R Rifle Scope. Features a lightning fast 30 minute per revolution zero stop turret, a 34 millimeter tube allowing for 120 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass producing brilliant images and exceptional color contrast. Extreme Store presents the Ready to Hunt Rifle Series. Includes a new MOA rifle, custom loaded ammunition, sight in, and validation work done over 1,000 yards. Complete and ready for the field. Visit ExtremeStore.us for current inventory. It's a big herd bull pushing a herd over here. Did you see him? Yeah. Big herd bull. He's in the spawn scope right now. Straight ahead, big six point. Yeah, we gotta kill that bull. 
straight ahead. See the see the dirt looking back? Yes. Right below it. Mm -hmm. Take the gun up there, let's try it. Go up to that flat there, take everything up there. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, hosted by Bob Beck, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by G7, Grip and Pull, Night Force MOA 1000 Rifle Scope, MOA Rifles, Night Force Optics, and Burger Bullets. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. For all your brass, bullet, and ammunition needs, head to ExtremeStore.us. This episode's tip of the week, we're going to talk about how to effectively, efficiently, and easily pull bullets. Now, this is an activity that some of you would prefer not to have to do, but the reality is sometimes mistakes happen in the loading room, or you just need components uh, that are not available these days, so you got to take some of these bullets apart. Now, to show this exercise, what the goal here is, is to show how absolutely efficient and easy and quick a grip and pull is. So I'm going to be using an inertia puller. And I'm going to use the grip and pull. So the goal here is we both got three loaded rounds of 65284 ammo. And I'm going to use this piece of equipment. Chris is going to use the grip and pull. <laughs> and we're going to show you not only how much quicker cleaner and easier Chris is gonna make this look so here we go all right you ready mm -hmm. go ahead this is all part of the deal this one's already falling apart <gasps> not even in the race okay we're back together Guys, I'm trying to keep up with her, but I don't I'm doing it. You're done. All right, well, for the sake of being thorough, I'm gonna keep going. I'd say the grip and pull one. Not much sales pitch needed here, right? I mean, how grossly inefficient was that? I had to pull the bullets basically by hand back out of the powder in order to transfer the powder back in. So quite honestly, that was a disaster. I don't know why anybody would use this anymore. But anyway, so Chris, congratulations. I would say <laughs> that you were two thirds of the way done before I even got started. Yeah, this definitely takes, takes way less time and way less effort. All right, guys. Well, to get your grip and pull, go to grip-n-pull.com. Now back to the show. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, the rifle barrel of choice for long-range hunters, competition shooters, and sport shooters worldwide. Ask for one on your next re-barrel or custom rifle build. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters. The perfect match of long-range ballistics and environment. Get precision aiming solutions for your gun, your load, and your shot.
It's a big herd bull pushing a herd over here. Did you see him? Yeah. Big herd bull. He's in the spawn scope right now. Straight ahead, big six point. Yeah, we gotta kill that bull. Straight ahead. See the see the dirt looking patch? Yes. Right below it. Take the gun up there and let's try it. Go up to that flat there. Take everything up there. Chris and the team readied for a shot. However, the herd was headed for higher ground. All the team could do was watch as the big herd bull pushed the cows across the sage flat and into the next canyon. After making a move on the horses, the team found another herd of elk and got into position. The search for a mature bull continued throughout the day. As the team pressed on, scouring the mountains, they hoped to get the one opportunity they needed. This young bull was very interested in the cow calls. However, he wasn't a bull that Chris wanted to harvest.
Well, we have had an eventful day, but all good things have to come to a close. And today is nearing dark, so I only had about a day and a half to fill my elk tag. Wasn't quite enough time, I don't think, to see enough animals, but we did see a handful of animals today. Right now we have to get out of here tomorrow because we have another hunt in Alberta. So it kind of shortened my, my hunt up a little bit. That's why they call it hunting, huh? Want more long-range hunting info? Be sure to check out the all-new Extreme Outer Limits podcast for long-range hunting tips and insights. You can find new episodes on iTunes and Podbean starting October 1st. Star Valley Outfitters, now owned and operated by Extreme Outer Limits, is one of Wyoming's premier hunting locations, offering opportunity on trophy elk, bear, deer, and moose. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Benchmark Barrels, Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, Lapua Brass, Passion for Precision, and Vitavuri Powder, the power of accuracy.